have breaking news tonight from the St. Joseph County Courthouse. Just over an hour ago, formal charges were filed in the case of a Granger mom who police say threw her own baby in a dumpster. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kim Chappell. And I'm Brian Dorman. Late this afternoon, the St. Joseph County Prosecutor's Office charged this woman, 32 year old Pervy Patel, with neglect of a dependent. ABC 57's Emily Pritchard has been waiting at the courthouse all day for those charges to come down. Emily, I understand it was just told by a producer that Patel just bonded out of jail. That's right. We are just learning that Pervy Patel bonded out of jail within about the last 10 minutes or so. Her bond was set at $100,000 and also developing late this evening. We got these charging and documents and affidavit that detail everything that led up to these events. Now, in these documents, the forensic pathologist says that he does believe the baby was born alive and took its very first breath. Now, he also stated that the baby was born premature, but was at least 28 weeks from conception. Now, that baby was dumped in a dumpster behind Moe's restaurant in Granger on Saturday night. Now, this happened after Patel had gone to the hospital where she was bleeding, and the paperwork here even states that her umbilical cord was protruding. Now, once she finally admitted to having a baby, that's when a doctor and officers went to look for the baby. Now, Patel had actually denied multiple times at the hospital that night ever having a baby or even being pregnant. But later, Patel did tell the medical staff at the hospital that she had put the baby in a bag and put it in that dumpster. Now, also in this paperwork that we're just getting our hands on this evening, police say they pulled text messages from Patel's phone where she told a friend she started taking two different drugs that she had gotten from Hong Kong, and she started taking those drugs on July 10th in an attempt to abort the child. Now, the doctor in these documents said that one of the drugs she admitted taking would induce labor. The other would only end the life of a fetus if it was taken within nine weeks old. Now, again, let's recap for you here. There is going to be further testing and investigating, as stated in these documents. But Patel was charged tonight with neglect of a dependent, which is a Class A felony, and she has bonded out within the past 10 minutes. Reporting live in downtown South Bend, Emily Pritchard, ABC 57 News.